Good evening, friends. I hope you are all well. I am also fine. Today, I am going to show you how you can create a Kubernetes cluster on AWS using AWS EKS, right? So, <clears throat> AWS has managed a Kubernetes service that is a Elastic Kubernetes service, in short, EKS. So, today, I am going to show you how you can easily create a, a Kubernetes cluster how can you use Nginx Ingress with a network load balancer and set up an SSH certificate over there and also create routing for your Kubernetes services. So let's get started. The first thing is I'm, I need to install Kube, uh, EKSCTL for installing the Kubernetes uh, cluster into EKS. So the process is very simple. I have written everything in my blog article. So the blog article link will be given in the video description. So what we have to do is install EKSCTL. So I'm just going to copy this command. And you can use Cloud Shell to run the commands because Cloud Shell is also a Linux environment. I'm going to paste it here. So this will download the KCTL and then install it into your cloud shell. So let's verify EKSCTL. Okay, the installation is done. So we are seeing all the commands here. Okay. So let's clear the screen. Now I'm going to create a new cluster. You can use this command for customizing your node group. But if you wanted to do it very quickly, you can just run it uh, EKSCTL, create cluster, and then the name. Let me just create this. Paste here. That's it. It will create a new cluster for you. The cluster name will be generated randomly. So there is uh, the only problem, but otherwise everything will be uh, created using this process. So if I refresh here, okay, it will take around 10 minutes. So remember that it's not going to do it immediately. It will take around 10 minutes because it is creating a VPC. It is creating a like node group and also it will create some pods for running as the master. So all those things will be happening in the background. So while you are waiting and uh, having a cup of coffee or tea, so I'm going to pause the video for 10 minutes. After that, when it is ready, I'm going to resume again. Okay, I'm back. So after 10 minutes, I see all those uh, cluster creation is done. So you see everything is successful, completed. And if I go here into the cluster details, this is the name of the new cluster that is being created. It is randomly picked up. So if you don't give any name, then this name will be randomly picked up. And then it will create, if you go to the compute section, two nodes. This is M5 large. And then a node group, which is uh, all automatically created. A refresh, I think. So it will see everything is great, ready. Okay. So now um, what we have to do is update our AWS EQS cube config with the new uh, region and cluster name. So copy here. Uh, for the region, if you check here, region AP Southeast one. For your case, it might be different. So copy it from the uh, URL and then the name there is also in my case my name is this this is randomly created in your case it might be different so just copy your cluster name this is the command to update the cube config we run it into our cloud shell paste it here so this is it running it will update the local cube config Okay, I'm going to clear the screen. Then let's try to run kubectl get pods and dash a. 
So this will show up all the ports running in the all namespaces. So you will see this is the cube system. So this is like AWS node or DNS proxy, all those. These are all AWS, uh, Kubernetes related system ports are running. I haven't deployed anything yet. So when I will deploy my ports, then uh, my pod will show up here as well. Okay, so let's do the next thing that is creating the Nginx ingress. So what is our purpose of running the pods? Because these pods will be mostly serving HTTP or HTTPS request. And uh, the Nginx ingress controller, it's kind of a, like uh, doing a proxy so that it takes the request from a uh, load balancer, like AWS network load balancer, and then use this, uh, pass this to the correct port or the service to handle the request, right? So let's uh, create the service account for the Nginx Ingress controller. Copy this line and then run it here. This will create a service account, okay? Then I'm going to run this command to cluster role binding. These are like, you don't have to modify anything, just copy paste it, those commands, okay? So then I'm going to create a new namespace for the Nginx ingress. <laughs> Paste it here. The namespace is being created. Then next is using help to install uh, Nginx ingress controller. So if you click this link, this link gives uh, all the options of how to install help and run run the helm installation command <clears throat> so just copy paste these commands to install helm on your machine paste it here then this part let me clear the screen again like let's make this screen a bit bigger okay Okay, then the last part is this. Sorry. Okay, now let's see. Uh, let's clear the screen one more time. So now Helm version, let's see. Okay. What is the, oh, without dash. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the Helm version. That means Helm installation is successful, right? Now let's go here and um, install the Nginx ingress controller. There are two options. <clears throat> Sorry, you can use the classic load balancer or the network load balancer. I usually prefer to use the network load balancer in AWS. So use this command. If you wanted to use install the classic load balancer, you can just use this part. So I'm going to copy this section. Open in a notepad, okay? So here, uh, we're just going to see Helm install Nginx ingress, okay, fine. This is the, uh, oh, one more thing. We have to add this uh, repo. And then Helm repo update. So Helm has repositories. So you just need to update that repository. So that is done. Now I'm going to run this command. So this is the Helm install, this is the repo name, and then uh, this is the namespace. And then this is the network load balancer type, NLB, network load balancer. So I'm just going to copy this and run it into this terminal. Okay, this will install. <clears throat> Nginx ingress controller and also in create a network load balancer in AWS EC2 section. Okay, that's done. So let's uh, minimize this cloud shell and go to the next tab where I have load balancers. 
and yeah there it is the new one it is state is provisioning that means it is just being uh, given command to it's created so it might take one or two minutes to create the whole process so um, that's being said so now if we clear this screen <laughs> And now if we uh, do cube cuttle get pods dash a, then it will give you all the pods and you will see that nginx ingress pod is also running, right? So this is the pod for nginx ingress. By the way, this is uh, my current version of the Kubernetes is 1.27. You can upgrade it to the 1.28, which is the latest one. But for this example, I don't need to upgrade it. So I'm not going to upgrade uh, to 1.28 at this moment. But I recommend you to upgrade it to 1.28 for a smooth operation. OK, it is still taking some time. We go details, then you will see the two listeners are given here okay so we go here and view all the services you cut all get svc for services and dash a for all all namespace so you will see the nginx ingress there's a service running and we have two pods so two ports running one for three one eight seven two and one for three two six five four okay Just remember, we are going to need that for linking with the listeners. So um, while this is being created, let's go to AWS Certificate Manager, right? AWS Certificate Manager is the place where you can create SSL certificates for your domain or subdomain. So, <clears throat> So for example, in this example, I wanted to point my subdomain like uh, eks.atiku.xyz to this load balancer. So for that reason, I need to create a SSL certificate, in the certificate manager, right? So to issue a new SSL certificate from ACM, just click this button, request certificate. <laughs> Then request a public certificate. Yes, this is a public certificate. And then give a name like eks.atiku.xyz, right? DNS validation and key algorithm is RSA 2048. Now request, view the certificate, refresh this screen. Okay, it will give you two, uh, one CNAME record. Like this is the CNAME record and this is the value. So just copy this and go to your domain, DNS manager. So in this example, my DNS manager is in Cloudflare. So you, uh, I'm going to change the DNS here. But if you're using different provider like GoDaddy, Namecheap, you can also do that same thing. You just need to create a new record here, add record. Choose the C name, put the value that you copied, and then uh, click the C name value. Click here, it will be copied, and then place here. Click proxy, save. Okay, we added the DNS record. The next thing we need to do is refresh here. I'm going to go to the load balancer. This is active now, so I'm going to go into the details. And this is the DNS name, right? So copy. So I'm going to add a new C name here as well. Name is EKS because I'm going to give eks.article.xyz pointing to the load balancer. So then save. Okay, this is being added. Now let's refresh this screen. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So the SSL certificate issue is done successful. I'm going to close this screen and let's go to the load balancer. So here we have two listeners, one for the uh, TCP 80 and TCP 443. So now click here and edit the listener. So what we have to do is we need to create TLS, not TCP, TLS 443. And then we need to choose the certificate. This is the certificate. And then let's save it. Okay. Looks good. Now let's go to EKS dot article.xyz. Four zero four not found because there is no pod is running for ourselves. So that's why this is showing. Let's go to HTTPS. Privacy error. Okay. Let's see. Sometimes it takes some time for the uh, SSL certificate to be activated. So you just need to wait for one or two more minutes. After that, you probably see that this error is gone, not secure part. Click here. Okay, it's still not updated, so we just have to wait a few more minutes. Yes, XYZ. Yeah, that's okay. Looks good. Let's open that in a new tab again. You just need to pause for one or two more minutes. Okay, I still don't see in this browser, maybe uh, the certificate is cached. What I can do is I can go to the new browser, a different one, and then, yeah. So here we see the certificate is connection is secure, certificate is valid. EKS32.xyz, Amazon RSA, Amazon issued SSL certificate is issued on January 23 today, expires on January 21, 2025. That means one year. Okay, that's good. But what it shows is that 400 bad requests, right? This is not uh, showing that you are playing HTTP request was sent to HTTPS port. So there is something is wrong. So let's check in our load balancer, refresh it. And go to the listeners four for three. So what I can do is I can switch the target group to different one and save. Refresh this screen. And let's try to see if this is working fine or not. Okay, this change is uh, still not coming here because some time delay of propagation. So just wait one or two minutes more. I might pause the video. Okay, so my changes are now propagated everywhere. So I have uh, refreshed it. This is the changes. And now it shows the correct SSL certificate. If you see, uh, EKS article.xyz, Amazon RSA. So issuer is Amazon. And then the date is 23. So all is good. Now, if I see my example here, the last part of the example is deploying a simple service. So the service is like a simple Nginx uh, image I'm going to deploy into the Kubernetes. 
And then I'm going to create a Nginx ingress that will uh, use that Kubernetes service and uh, route it to the path slash Atik, right? So if I give something like slash EKS atik.xyd slash Atik, then I can see that. So I copied that in the notepad and then I uh, created a file here. So if I make this screen bigger, here nano service.yml. Then here, all those YAML content is pasted, exactly copy pasted. I haven't changed nothing yet. So I save it and then I run QCuttl. So QCuttl apply minus F service.yml and then this it will create the service it will create the ingress and then it will deploy the pods right and if i now visit here it will show the welcome to nginx so this is because this image is actually showing welcome if you have some different images like for your application then it will show your application so that's that's the whole purpose of this video is that show you how to create an uh, EKS cluster, how to install Nginx Ingress with network load balancer, and then deploy a sample application with uh, a sample path-based routing. You can also do like domain-based routing as well, something like atik.ekas.xyz um, or something that will route to this path. That is also possible. The changes needs to be done here because I have done path-based routing, you can do domain-based routing as well. But that's not the big change. So I hope this helps you to get started with EKS and uh, load balancer with network load balancer. So if you have any questions, please put that into the video comment section. I will give the um, blog article link in the video description. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you you are all having a good day thank you everyone for joining allah peace assalamu alaikum